everyone! Long time no see. It's been way too long. I think it's been nearly a month at this point, maybe longer since I last posted a video. So I think it's about time we update this channel and I can talk to you guys about where I've been. So basically, I've, I've been thinking a lot about this channel. I've been thinking a lot about, you know, what I do here and everything. And I want to talk to you guys about how the channel's been going. What I've been thinking about a lot with it, and to be honest, I haven't really thought... I mean, I've been thinking about it a lot, and I'm not entirely sure what to do next. So, basically, I want to talk about why I started Psychocrud, and I... I don't know, this this here is just to, like, have something to look at, I guess, while I talk, so I guess I'll go ahead and start opening some crud. But basically, Psychocrud is a channel that I started as a hobby. This channel was always meant to just be, like... I've got my other YouTube channels, I've got Psycho and I've got Psycho Plays and all that crud. But this channel was meant to be a place where I just dump videos that don't fit on the other channels. Because even though at this point YouTube has become my job, it's also something I just genuinely enjoy doing is making videos. And there were videos that I always wanted to make that just didn't fit on the other channels. So Psycho Crud was just a dumping ground. It was a place to just drop videos that I just really wanted to make. And it just so turned out that that thing happened to be making Pokemon card videos for the past couple of years and it's worked out great. It's been so much fun. I've really enjoyed doing it. And the thing is, I have not stopped loving Pokemon cards. I absolutely adore them. But the thing is, well, I mean, first off, I really enjoy collecting stuff. I really enjoy Pokemon, so I really love Pokemon cards and that's not something that's changed over all this time. But the problem is that over the past few months, my channel has started to decline quite a bit. And it kind of started to happen around the time that, um, you know, people were freaking, ab freaking out about like the whole YouTube algorithm change and all that kind of crowd a few months ago. I don't think that it's associated with that at all. I think it's simply that a lot of amazing channels that put out Pokemon card content have been pa uh, popping up. And basically, my little hobby channel here just hasn't managed to uh, stay relevant is kind of how that goes. And the thing is, like, video game content, there's huge amounts of people who want to see that type of stuff. So the, the demand for video game content is very high. The supply is very high, but so is the demand. The thing about Pokemon cards, the demand is, you know, it's there. And the supply was kind of there as well. So because of that, just what my videos are is just like, you know, half-decent camera quality passable commentary and opening some random products that was good enough but over the past several months supply has been going way up and the quality of content's been going way up a lot and demand's only gone up a little bit so now there's just kind of this oversaturation point where there's a lot of people who want to see Pokemon cards but they're already satisfied so why watch you know my little simple channel here when you can watch other people who are doing it so much better and absolutely no hate at all to like any of these channels that are doing amazing things I watch them all the time I love them and that's the thing they're just doing such a great job and it comes to the point where could I do what they're doing maybe you know there's a lot of channels who open more or maybe they put more production value into it or maybe they uh, really know a lot about the cards they can do information they can do in-depth information about you know, what's good and competitive, stuff like that. That So that's all stuff I could learn about. That's probably stuff I could do if I wanted to treat it like that. But like I said, this channel here is kind of meant to be a hobby channel. And once you get into a lot of that stuff, having to put in extra stuff like that, it becomes more of work. And I consider, I consider YouTube, it is my full-time job, guys. It is something I do, you know, every day I wake up around 5. I chill and eat breakfast until around 6. And then I study Japanese from 6 to 8. And then from 8 until 6 at night, I work on YouTube. And that's pretty much what I do on Psycho Place. Well, lately I've been also doing live streams, but uh, that's kind of what I do is I work a whole bunch, usually five, at least five days a week, sometimes as much as seven. So I, you know, YouTube is a full-time gig for me. But this channel, I've thought about it. Do I want to go the extra mile, put more of my work time into this channel? And I feel like right now the answer to that is no. And here's the problem. With the decline in the the channel and the um, me not wanting to make it a job, it becomes the point where this card's expensive, man. I mean, that's, that's just being blunt. That's just how it is. You know, buying every new Pokemon product that comes out, it costs hundreds or even thousands of dollars. And for the longest time, the channel kind of funded itself, which was awesome. And it's been like a dream come true to be open, to be able to open so many of these Pokemon cards over the past couple of years. But it's declined a lot, like more than half. And it's to the point where 
every time I make a video, I'm losing money on it. And it, I don't, you know, I don't care about money, guys. It's not that big of a deal. But it comes to the point where, do I want to invest this much of my livelihood into a hobby? And I just simply don't think that it's a good use of money to be spending thousands of dollars on Pokemon cards, you know? Holy crud! <laughs> we got a full art lily right here. Look at that crud, guys. So it kind of comes to the point where, um, yeah, I mean... Do I want to spend all that money on that, or would I rather put it to, I don't know, a retirement fund, or money for traveling places, or going to conventions, or any anything else that I could be spending the money on, you know? There's so many things I could do, and I love Pokemon cards, but do I, do I want to have that much of my finances go to it? It was a very easy decision when it paid for itself, but now that it's, you know, costing a significant amount of money, it comes to uh, the point where you... I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I still love doing it, but yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell by the way that I'm talking, but I'm still, I'm still not really sure what to think about everything. But, well, here's what I want to get to. I think that the Pokemon cards are going to become less of a focus on this channel here. And the channel over the past couple of years has had kind of a schedule. I've always uploaded a few videos a week. But I'm going to knock it down to more of just... It's a hobby, guys. It, this is what this channel was always meant to be, so... From time to time, you guys might see Pokemon card videos, because I still I still love Pokemon cards. So I want to still try to buy a new booster box whenever a new set comes out. But I don't think I want to invest the money to buy every single new product that comes out and everything like that. So I think that's what we're going to do going forward. There might be times where I post several Pokemon card videos in a week, because I still have lots of product lying around. I've still got dozens of things to open that I've just accumulated over the months. But I don't think that it's going to be a regular thing anymore. And I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I know there's a lot of channels that open way more than I do that get less views. So they're putting even more of their own money into it. And I really respect them for doing that. It's just, do I want to invest? Is it smart as an adult to invest all of that money into Pokemon cards when I could be doing it for a billion other things in life? But here's the thing. YouTube itself, of course, Psychoplays, I consider that a job as much as I love doing it. Straight up making Let's Plays is like my favorite thing. That's the perfect mesh. That channel is the perfect mesh for me, Psychoplays, of hobby and job. I love what I do there so much. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing to do, like, in general, just ever. I love, love making uh, gameplay videos. So Psychoplays mixes with the job really well because the demand is higher and my desire to do it you know, 50 plus hours a week is there. So it works out awesomely. But for this channel, it's a hobby. And the thing is, just because I might be stepping back on Pokemon cards, I still love making YouTube videos. And there's definitely other kinds of videos that I still want to make that aren't going to cost thousands of dollars like opening lots of Pokemon cards will. So there's still ideas that I have for things I can do on this channel. And I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. But basically, my biggest hobby, even beyond collecting, is... I don't know why I'm not... I should just hold up the little We're going to stare at her for a while. But uh, my biggest hobby is video games, of course. And I've taken on this project to play every single Nintendo Switch game that comes out. I was thinking of something I really want to do that still involves hobby. Video games are my hobby. I would love to do videos on this channel. Every time I beat a game uh, for the Switch, just doing a video here, just talking about it. Just talking about my experience with the game, talking about my impressions, and just super casual. You know, I could just chill and talk for, you know, whatever, have some gameplay footage in the background, just talk for like half an hour, whatever. I think some people might be interested in that. I think a lot of people think that's really boring, but I don't know. It's one of those things where I've already got the game, so it's not going to cost me any money to make the video. So if I enjoy making it, why not, right? That's what this channel is for. It's not, you know, this channel's not a business. This channel is, uh, just stuff I feel like making for fun. So yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. I mean, as you can tell from this video, I definitely need some practice talking unscripted. It's not something I'm great at, but I think that over time, if we just practice it, do a few videos with it, I think we'll be better. And it won't be, it won't be just like my hands. You guys won't be seeing my hands talking the whole time. I'll have some gameplay footage and stuff if I decide to do that. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. There goes my recording cutting out. Gosh dang. Anyways. Oh gosh, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm rambling a lot. But basically what I want to say is thank you guys so much for the past couple of years watching all these Pokemon card videos. I started off the channel by investing about $1,500 of my own money in. But after that, for the most part, until recently, your guys' views have basically bought me all of these Pokemon cards. So thank you guys so much for buying me like 20,000 Pokemon cards. I'll never be able to thank you guys enough for that because it is seriously a dream come true. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to save up my allowance. I got $2 every week. 
So I knew that every second week I could get a pack of Pokemon cards and I looked forward to it every time. And to turn that from getting a couple booster packs a month to turning that into getting like a bunch every week, it is, it, for me, it never got old. I know a lot of it got very repetitive. A lot of people uh, thought the videos were too repetitive or they thought the commentary was too repetitive. Things like that. I mean, there's only so much you can say while opening cards, right? But for me, it never got old. I always enjoyed doing it. And hey, you know, for the videos that are still to come, I will still absolutely enjoy it. Like I said, I still want to at least do a booster box of every new series that comes out. And when those happen, I'm not going to split into four parts, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna do a video, have me open the entire booster box. I don't even know if I made, like, an overall point in this video, but, well, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. Hopefully you guys don't hate me too much for it, and, well, this will remain a hobby channel, and anything that becomes a part of that, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what it is, whether it be me talking about video games, me occasionally doing Pokemon cards, whatever the case may be. It's been Pokemon cards for the past couple years, that's just kind of a coincidence, but... I guess we'll see what it is moving forward. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around for so long. Uh, if you decide to dip out here, if you decide to unsubscribe, well, thank you for being here for so long. And I guess I will see you guys next time. I'll probably do a video talking about a Switch game sometime maybe this weekend or maybe sometime next week because I've got a couple games I already beat. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I'll let you guys go now. Take care.